Welcome friends. In this video, we will be discussing about the concept of differentials in the case of functions of several variables. But before we move on to functions of several variables, we will just discuss differentials in the case of function of one variable. So suppose we are having a function of one variable which can be represented like this, say y equal to f of x then if this function is differentiable then we can write dy by dx equal to f dash of x where f dash of x is its derivative now i can write dy is equal to f dash of x into dx okay now if suppose i consider this whole equation as an equation involving the variables dy and dx Suppose uh, if I consider this whole equation as an equation involving the variables dy and dx where f dash of x is known to us then that given term is called that this given expression is called the differential. Now suppose if we want to approximate the change in y we can use dy as a good approximation of delta y provided we are taking dx as equal to delta x so i'll repeat suppose if we want to find a change in y that is delta y corresponding to a change in x say delta x then we can very well use this delta y dy as an approximation of delta y so this delta y will serve as a good approximation of dy which is equal to f dash of x into delta x and this error in approximating delta y by dy will be less than or equal to the distance between the points x and x plus delta x now we will move on to functions of several variables now suppose we are having a function say z equal to f of x y then the differential in this case is dz is equal to fx into dx plus fy into dy now this expression is comes from the definition of the derivative in case of functions of two variables now if i consider this as an expression an equation with dz dx and dy as the variables then this expression is called the total differential of z now as in the earlier case delta z can be approximated by dz if we take dx is equal to delta x and dy is equal to delta y now the the approximation of delta z is dz which is fx at delta fx into delta x plus fy into delta y now this error in approximating uh, this uh, delta z by dz is less than or equal to the distance between the two points that is say x and x plus delta x that is I am considering the two points as say x y or x naught y naught and x naught plus delta x comma y naught plus delta y okay suppose if these are the two points then error in approximating delta z by dz is less than or equal to the distance between these two points which is square root of delta x the whole square plus delta y the whole square now similarly in case of functions of uh, function of three variables this total differential is given by dw is equal to fx into dx plus fy into dy plus fz into dz now we will do a problem using this total differential let's look at this question here the length and width of a rectangle are measured with errors of at most three percentage and five percentage respectively use differentials to approximate the maximum percentage error in the calculated area okay so they have given us the errors in the length and width of a rectangle okay so let us take let x be the length of the rectangle y be the width of the rectangle 
they have given the percentage error in measuring length and width as 3 percentage and 5 percentage respectively that is delta x by x into 100 is less than or equal to 3 and delta modulus of delta y by y into 100 is less than or equal to 4 or in other terms delta x by x is less than or equal to 0 0.03 and delta y by y is less than or equal to 0 0.04 now area of the rectangle is equal to x into y where x is the length and y is the width now finding the total differential of this we have da is equal to ax dx plus ay dy we know if z is equal to x into y dz equal to say zx dx plus zy dy so here the variable name is a so da is equal to ax dx plus ay dy so da what is ax partial derivative of this expression with respect to x is equal to y okay i hope that is clear ax is partially differentiating xy with respect to x so i'm getting y and ay is x so i have we have y dx plus x dy now we are going to divide this expression throughout by a so da by a is equal to y dx by a plus x dy by a now a is equal to xy so on the right hand side instead of a we will be replacing x into y now one x y term will get cancelled so we will be left with dx by x and the second term x will be cancelled so we will be left with dy by y now we know delta a by a can be approximated by da by a which is equal to dx by x plus dy by y so taking modulus on both sides we have modulus of da by a is equal to modulus of delta x by x plus modulus of delta y by y now we know mod a plus b is less than or equal to mod a plus mod b so this is less than or equal to delta x by x plus mod delta y by y now mod delta x by x is less than or equal to 0.3 and mod delta y by y is less than or equal to 0.4 so in effect mod da by a is less than or equal to 0 0.07 hence the maximum percentage error in the calculated value of the area is 7 percentage approximately Thank you.